Okay, so I'm at the top of a hill near Skin. I'm here to photograph the meteor shower, the granted meteor shower. It can form up to 120 meteors per hour. Okay, so I'm at the top of a hill near Skin. I'm here to photograph the meteor shower, the granted meteor shower. It can form up to 120 meteors per hour if we're in the darkness sight of Earth when the peak hits because the peak or oh, the wind when the peak hits it's only about two three hours long so we just have to hope that our side of Earth, Scotland's side of Earth is in the darkness when the peak actually happens so we don't know until we get shooting but I'm going to take a time lapse from this pinnacle and hopefully capture some meteors through the time lapse and I'll get a nice star trail out of it as well since it's blown a gale here, I'll drop down a wee bit further in the hill and shoot upwards to this pinnacle just so my tripod and camera can be in protected area since it's blown a gale up here and you might be able to hear with the microphone. So just have to wait till darkness now. So as you could probably hear the wind's pretty bad so mostly in this video I'll be doing a lot of voiceovers just because the audio was absolutely hopeless. It was blown at nearly 20 miles an hour up there. It's just ridiculous. So this was the composition that I had planned. You can see me pointing. I was talking there, but you could hardly hear me. So let's go get the plough over the pinnacle. So some of the clips are fine, but most of this will be a voiceover. There's a plane and Jupiter and Perth and Scooton here. The kit I was using for the night was the Sony A7S and for the star trail and the time lapse, I was using the 20mm 1.8 because I felt that that got most of the frame in and it's it's wide enough to capture most of the night sky but also thin enough to capture the meteors because if you have a, an, a lens too wide that the meteors look tiny so you have to kind of crop in just a wee bit A good wee tip for if you're doing time lapses in the middle of the night is put a hand warmer around your lens just like this, just with an elastic band and it keeps the fog and the dew off the lens because there's nothing worse than having a time lapse out for three hours and then coming to it two hours in and you see that the lens is all fogged up. Nightmare. So you can see here as well, the wind was pretty damn strong so I had to go as low down to the ground as I could and pretty much just submerge my a tripod into the into the mud almost and get the legs really wide just to stabilize it as much as I could so the lower the better just now with the wind so all what was left to do is just press shoot and shoot for about three hours So Orion started to show itself as well. I'll try and get a nice picture of Orion. I just captured the plough as well on a single shot with the Starglow filter. So I've got the obelisk with the plough. I'll put that on the screen uh, pretty soon. And yeah, hopefully, well obviously, not hopefully, Orion will rise up there and I'll get a nice picture of the monument with Orion as well. So now we just have to wait about three hours. The wind's died down thankfully. But, you know, it's not a bad view, is it? Not bad at all. So whilst I wait for the time lapse, which is the other side of the pinnacle, I'm going to shoot Orion over the pinnacle with Taurus and the Pleiades up here. I'm going to try and probably get a wide, something like that. A portrait probably, but I'll do a close in with Orion because it's right beside... Oh, jeez. Oh, the wind's just blowing me over there. Oh. <laughs> right, so I'll, I'll crack on with this picture before I get blown off the hill. Okay, so that's me finished that shoot. I came off the hill because it just got a bit too windy and I'm just, I'm pretty much frozen now. So I've came down to the bottom of the hill. 
I'll call it a night. I've got some good shots of Orion, good shots of the plough, hopefully a star, star trail, a good time lapse, and hopefully a few meteors. I, can't, I saw one meteor on camera, so I definitely got one. So hopefully I'll be able to make some sort of uh, meteor shot with it. So I'll put all the shots up. I don't know what the audio is like because it was blowing the gale up there. So that's probably the last time I'm going to be up on that hill uh, videoing because it's just it's just a bit of a nightmare. It's so much warmer down here without the wind. So I don't know what the audio is like. No doubt I've probably done a lot of voiceovers. So hopefully the images turn out nice. And it was good to get finally some clear skies again. So thank you very much for watching. Cheers.